Okay, everyone. So, um, enter your game again. Um, so this is awesome. We have an octopus that can move around. There's some gravity. It can fall. It hits the edge of the screen. Perfect. Let's make things more interesting. So let's make a power up for the for the octopus, like many games have, like the Fire Flower in Mario. So let's add a power up first. So I'm going to add a piece of food. Um, so close behavior, which is open from last time. Uh, artwork. Um, okay, what's good power up? Uh, great, there's an apple. Let's say the octopus likes to eat apples. So click and hold, drag, put it here. And let's make a platform for it to stand on. What looks nice, a platform. I think there's some grass somewhere. Oh, notice it is in alphabetical order, so it'll make things easy to find. Oh yeah, there's some green ground somewhere. So click and hold, put it here, close. I'm gonna click on that, move it to the apple sitting on the green ground somewhere there. Awesome. Now I'm gonna press play. Again, nothing happens. That's new, yeah, apart from the two objects being there. Okay, I can try and navigate onto it by jumping, so and you hit the apple, but nothing's happening because you haven't told the computer anything yet. So, take a moment, pause, and add uh, an apple and a platform, or any food and a platform. Okay, now we want the octopus to be able to eat the apple. We want the apple to disappear. This is not a behavior, this is too specific. This is what's called an event. Behavior are for general things. Events are for when something specific happens. So for us, it's when the octopus touches the apple, the apple disappears. To do events, you go to the traffic lights here. So traffic lights, okay? Here you can make new events. Here you can close events. Here you can delete the event. Um, here, uh, notice, uh, you can also add event here. So here or here. Um, notice an event is always two things, when and do. There could be multiple whens and multiple do's, but there'll always be both a when and a do. So when something happens, do this specific thing. So for us, it's when the octopus touches the apple, make the apple disappear. So the easiest way of doing that is click here for choose an object. When the octopus, and that choose the behavior, here, you have to do sensing, because when it senses that it has touched the object. Then for choose a method, um, the best one is collided with. Okay? So when the octopus senses it collides with, enters a parameter, parameter is the thing that we act upon, apple. Okay? When the octopus collides with the apple, what happens? Apple disappears. So what disappears? The apple. We choose the object, apple. Now the behavior this time is appearance. Then we can go to set hidden and we can say yes, set it hidden. So when the octopus senses that it hits the apple, then the apple's appearance sets hidden as yes. So it disappears. Okay, so we have that. We can press done test this. See what happens? I try If I try and go to the apple, oh, the apple disappeared. Nice. Oh, I fell. Awesome. Pause. Uh, take a moment to pause and make that event yourself. Remember, it looks something like this. Great. Now, it's a power-up. It doesn't just disappear, it also does something. We, when it touches the apple, we want the octopus to jump higher, let's say. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the octopus right now. If you look at its behavior, the jump at 55. Let's start it at, at small. Let's start it at 45. So let's play. The jump is a little smaller. Okay, now. Let's make it that the apple makes the jump more powerful. So click on the events. This time, you don't need a new event. Because the when is the same. It's when the octopus touches the apple. 
This time the apple will disappear and the jump becomes more. So you go here and press this plus sign. Okay? And what's the object? It's the apple, so you have the octopus. Because the octopus is jump that you're affecting. So you're going to jump. You're gonna configure the event to jump, okay? You're gonna make the jump. Let's say you're gonna make it now you're making it to five. You press confirm. Don't forget to press confirm. And then done. Okay? Just to make sure, click on the guy. Check his jump, it's 45. Now when you press play, the jump looks like that. Touch the apple. Come back here. Oh, the jump seems a little bit higher. Pause. Was it dramatic enough? No. Let's try making it even more. Instead of 55, let's make it 65. Done. And now let's try playing. So this is the original jump. Touch the apple. Now. So the jump higher should be pause. Let's look at its behaviors. Yeah, the jump starts at 45. Events. Instead of the jump, you use the height. So you click on the traffic signs. Um, this time you don't need a new do. It's the same event because it's the same when because it's still when the octopus touches the apple. You just need a new do. We want the apple to disappear and we want the jump to become higher. So I press this plus sign here. The object is the octopus. The octopus's jump that we're affecting. The height, I'm going to make the height something a bit higher. So let's say I make it 60. Okay, then I press done. So now, I press play, I press play, okay, the jump is small. Now when I touch the apple, now, now the jump has become bigger. Pause, click on the guy, look at behaviors, 45, perfect. So now you pause. And add an event, sorry, do not add an event, add a do to the same event where when you eat the apple, not only does it disappear, but it changes the jump. Okay, go and do that yourself. Perfect. So now you know how to make events. You can play around with that a little bit. Um, next time we're going to do some more events and it will be awesome. And we'll add some more functionality to our game. So go ahead. Make your game.